As you know, the KTLA Morning News celebrating its 20th anniversary. It's time now for to us to reflect back on some of the big stories we've covered then and I guess now. Yes, that's right. Just like today, health and medical breakthroughs have certainly made headlines over the past 20 years. Surgeon and scientist Dr. Raul John Dial is here with a look at medical 1991, where we are now. Uh, so I remember, uh, we all remember pretty distinctly in 1991, the announcement by Lakers great Magic Johnson that he was HIV positive. And you think about all the changes in the past 20 years with regards to HIV research, uh, pretty phenomenal. This has been our biggest success and when we fail with other treatments and people say, well, this disease is still around, this disease is still around, we say, well, look when energy and effort went into AIDS and what happened. 20 years ago when he was diagnosed, everybody was talking about on the sports radios, how long is he gonna live? A year, yep. year and a half. That was a time that earlier we heard about Rock Hudson and how quickly he died. Movies came out like Philadelphia in 1993, mm -hmm. yep. where you could see people suffering and filling the hospitals. They were dying in the hospitals. Since then, AIDS has become an outpatient disease. It's still a major problem, but they go to their doctors, they get the medicines, they go to the clinics. The hospitals don't have special areas for AIDS patients to die anymore in America. So I'm really proud of that, because yeah. I was in medical training at that time when we saw this come by. So it's been huge. The number one killer for men in 19 20 years ago, uh, from 25 to 44, was AIDS. Wow. Are we now making, it's number six. Are we making progress in, in places like Africa as well, where we know that it's still claiming lives? You're right. You're right. And we cannot th see them as separate. Uh, but what we are making progress is people are still picking up the disease, but they are also living longer in those countries. And there was fantastic research about maybe coming up with sort of a vaccine against it. We haven't broken too much ground in it, but we are looking globally because it's not a disease that's just in America. No. Good point. One thing we talk about a lot, breast cancer. Yeah. One in eight women affected by breast cancer. It's a Where sobering were we thought. in 1991? Where are we today? It, one in eight women, it, it's just a sobering thought. I mean, you, you sit in a room and you can sort of look around and say, my gosh, several of us are going to have breast cancer. The deaths, uh, funny, I mean, since 1990, they have significantly and steadily gone down. The number of women dying from breast cancer has gone down. More importantly, the treatments are less painful. The treatments are less dangerous. We've even talked about some people when they have the right receptors and antennae on their tumor types, they don't have to have their whole breast removed. Mm. They can be followed or a smaller amount can be taken out. And cancer kills by spreading, and women who have actually had breast cancer spread to their brain or to their body are independent, living, and doing well. So there have been tremendous uh, head roads in that as well. Something that we know a wee bit about here in Hollywood, <laughs> uh, plastic surgery. In 1991, you would assume that it was sort of a, uh, it wasn't new by any standard, but is that sort of when it was just coming into it was still vogue, meant if you for will? The, yeah, it was still meant for the stars. Two right. million plastic surgery procedures. In 1991? Uh, in early 90s. About Compared a million. To mm, two million yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> 11 million. Wow. wow in 20 years. And, and men and, and women now. But men then are starting it was, to get it more. Right. They represent 10% of it. And it's interesting that uh, the, the type of surgical procedures they get are different, but liposuction tends to be a, a very common one for both people. And the, the fillers and the Botox, those are really skyrocketing. So when I say 11 million, it's about four to five actual surgery under surgery, anesthesia. Surgery, yeah. And a lot of it is another half is Botox and fillers, which yeah. are less dangerous. I mean, you just have to see which one suits you, but that's the... Or if they suit you at all. Yeah. Well, I that's think the present you're handsome tense the way you are, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> all right. Uh, Dr. John Deal, thanks very much. Yeah. Great look back.